Rishi Sunak um, today, uh, he spoke to him, distanced himself from, from Swella Braverman's comments about the Met Police, uh, although he still, you know, he says he still has confidence in her. And I think that's, you know, for any for any political party that is a relatively broad church, uh, you know, you're always going to have that tension between two rival factions in it. Um, I think Rishi Sunak's a bright guy. Um a lot of the King's speech felt like it was stuff that was kind of important to him, you know, the stamp out smoking and kind of things like that. It was stuff that was personal to him. And I think guys at like him and Jeremy Hunt probably do want to focus on the day-to-day issues. Um, you know, I think they would love to come up with a, a way to solve the cost of living cri- uh, crisis less than a year before a general election. Uh, doubtful that Anyone was going to come up for that uh, with that in that time, but yeah, and then you've got obviously um, Sula Braverman, um, amongst others, some of them no longer in, um, uh, in government, you know, Jacob Beast Mogg, guys like that, who seem to want to play these kind of culture wars. Um, and I think, I think the problem there is that when people like Sula Braverman might, might have a point on certain things, it, it, it it kind of gets drowned out by what they've said before, and when Rich uh, and when Rishi Sunak then goes into these kind of arguments, then what Swella Braverman has said before drowns out what he's saying, even if he's made a good point. Um, I think all in all, you know, the, the Tories increasing look like a party who know that they're that they're primed for opposition for a period in opposition, and I think they're trying to shore up our core vote to make sure that what happens next year at the general election isn't isn't as bad as maybe the polls are suggesting they will be. Uh, overall, I thought the King's speech was pretty uninspiring. <laughs>